Pam V from Casually Fragrant. Today I'm going to be going over my Zoologist Easy Loving Natural Selection Set. Zoologist is a perfume company that was started and is has its perfumes made in Canada. Um, they were founded by Victor Wong in 2013 and the company is located in Toronto. Even though I might mention some animal product notes, none of the perfumes actually have any animal products in them and they all use synthetic notes. Um, I purchased this set off of Lucky Scent. Um, both the Zoologist website and Lucky Scent listed it for 145 American. Um, my one little thing is I live in Canada. This is a Canadian company. I was kind of hoping when I ordered from them, it would be, you know, the like the cost would be in Canadian funds and I wouldn't have to pay as much for shipping. But it turned out it was actually cheaper for me to go and place a larger order at Lucky Scent with some other things um, and get free shipping um, and get some more samples. So I did purchase mine off Lucky Scent, but I am absolutely becoming like addicted to, zoolo to zoologist perfumes and I am going to be definitely exploring this house more um, and not just the ones that I got. So in the easy loving natural selection set and I think the whole thing of easy loving like these are easy to love fragrances and I recommend if you're getting into zoologist perfumes these are actually like a fantastic set to get into. They come beautifully packaged and here they all are in travel sprays. Um, just quickly, there's dragonfly, hummingbird, macaque, uh, nightingale, and panda. And I'm just gonna place them down like this and I'm gonna go over each of them um, separately. And I guess in case you wanted to see if it's gonna zoom in, they do have kind of like a little write up in the box about zoologist. I love this packaging. Um, it's definitely got a good quality feel to it. So let's start with Dragonfly. Um, <clears throat> and not only is the outside packaging great, I mean, the bottles look like they're so beautiful even the travel size ones and sometimes I've mentioned on my channel before like you get a really good full-size bottle and then the travel size is just kind of like neglected but not in this case um these are all oh, sorry, these are all eau de parfums and I'm I did not check ahead of time and it's 11 mils or 0.34 fluid ounces and these are all sprays which I definitely prefer. Um, so for Dragonfly, um, this is a floral fresh Chypre fragrance. It was uh, made in 2017. It's got top notes of aldehydes, helotrope, lemon, peony, and rainwater. Heart notes of cherry blossom, clover, iris, lotus, and rice. And base notes of amber, moss, musk, Papyrus and sandalwood. Um, I love this fragrance. It's got a very fresh um, lightness to it. It's not one of my usual sweet gourmands that I love. Um, so it is a little bit different. Um, it's like so light, perfect for the day. Um, it's got moderate longevity, moderate projection. And um, you really get that rainwater, rice, and helotrope. Um, I did notice that for all of these, the notes are sometimes a little bit different from Fragrantica and from what's on the website. I'm going to be mostly going over what the notes listed on the zoologist website are today um, in this video. So I really like this. It's got a unique scent to it. I don't have anything like this in my collection. Um, and if you want that like fresh, you know, something, it just rained, but you're not getting that, like the, to me, it's a lot of fragrances that have that like fresh rain smell end up smelling like a wet garden with like, you know, wet dirt and stuff. And I don't get that at all from this. This is just like a light rain with like, you know, that helotrope and I love you know, purple florals. So I love helotrope notes and fragrances. So, and this is definitely a unisex scent in my point of view. They all are, but um, I find some lean more masculine and some lean more feminine. Um, and that's just my own personal opinion on the fragrances. Um, and that, but they're all basically unisex. And this one's definitely a pure unisex scent. So the next one is, let's do Hummingbird. So once again, a beautiful bottle here. Um, 
I just love all the drawings. And so Hummingbird is a floral fruity gourmand. Um, I believe it's listed as a gourmand because honey is like a very dominant note in this fragrance. But like this isn't your typical gourmand. Like there's not, you know, it's not your like thick like vanilla caramel one. It's got honey and it's got some cream in it. Um, but I... I don't get as much of a gourmand feel um, as I do more of the flute, uh, sorry about that, fruity floral one. It was uh, made in 2015 and it's got top notes of apple, cherry, citrus, lilac, muguet, plum, rose, violet leaf, heart notes of honey, honeysuckle, mimosa, peony, tulip, ylang ylang, and base note, actually I'm might not be a lang a lang. I apologize about that. I think it's just where I just like did a typo as I was writing up my notes. Um, base notes of amber, cumarin, cream, moss, musks, sandalwood, and white woods. It's long lasting, definitely long lasting to very long lasting with moderate projection. Um, I, the notes on Fragrantica are a bit different, but the main ones, like a dominant note of honey, honeysuckle, lilac, I are this, you know, common throughout. I obviously, I, I personally get a bit of plum and cream as well, and it's really a wonderful scent. Um, I kind of see it more for spring, summer, and fall. It's not too heavy. I I think it would be good year round, but even on Fragrantica, not too many votes for winter for this scent. But Hummingbird, um, definitely to me, this leans more feminine. Um, and I'm just saying that, like, I like wearing this one, and I think it would be a great unisex scent as well. But I think um, this does lean kind of more on the feminine side. Uh, so then the next one is Macaque, which is monkey here once again so beautiful um drawings of all of these bottles this is uh from 2016 it's a green woody aromatic it's very interesting scent it's got um so i have not actually i've only smelt this a few times and kind of sampled it i haven't like worn this exclusively for a full day um it's got uh, so i these notes are as listed on fragrantica for um Sorry, these are kind of what's listed on Fragrantica for moderate to long lasting and then moderate um, projection for this one. And the notes are cedar, green apple, red mandarin, heart notes of frankincense, galbadum, honey, rosewood, ylang ylang, jasmine tea, and base notes of cedar moss, green tea, white oud, and musk. It's got, I definitely get that fresh green apple, galbadum cedar moss and the tea both the jasmine tea and the green tea um this is a like wonderful tea fragrant um i have not worn this myself as much but everything with zoologist and i'm gonna probably mention this again is the more i smell these fragrances the more i like love them and the more i want to kind of wear all of them or i want others to wear them around me it's they're like really they have a lot of depth to them and they're not linear fragrances by any means and i really feel like if you're whether you're starting out, you know, getting into your perfume journey, you're just looking for something like easy to wear, or you're like a veteran, you know, perfume perfumer yourself, or like someone who's really like, you know, sampled everything out there. I think Zoologist is just like a wonderful perfume brand for everyone. So like, and they have stuff that kind of, I think would appeal to, um, you know, everyone, um, not just like they are a niche brand and it's not just super, you know, um, some scents I find smell great, but they might be hard to wear. I find these are all very um, easy to wear. And as the, as this one is called the easy loving set, definitely it is. Um, so the next one is Nightingale. It's got this beautiful pink um, liquid for the perfume. And it has, it's a Chypre Fruit Floral from 2016. Uh, the Chypre, and I apologize if I'm mispronouncing that, um, kind of gives it this like fizzy sparkling quality to it. And it's very long lasting and it's got moderate to heavier projection. Um, uh, top notes of bergamot, lemon, saffron, heart notes of jasmine, plum blossom, red rose, and violet. Base notes of oud, patchouli, sandalwood, moss, 
frankincense, white musk, labdanum, and ambergris. Um, and as I said before, only synthetic notes were used, no animal products. Um, this fragrance is, I think this is the one that like my mom and grandma also smelled that they absolutely loved. I love this one. I kind of go back and forth between Hummingbird and Nightingale. I think I started liking Hummingbird more first and now I might be leaning more towards Nightingale as my favorite from this set. I find it a very, um, it's sweet, but it's not overpowering. It's perfect for like spring and fall. Um, I think this would be a great like yeah, signature scent as well. And it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. And if you haven't had a chance to try this and you like, you know, sweet fruity florals and you want kind of something that just kind of fizzes almost, like I would try Nightingale. And lastly, we have Panda here. Panda, um, so there are two uh, releases of Panda from 2014 and 2017. There was a reformulation. Um, I think this is the 2017. I purchased this set in 2019. So um, I believe this is the 2017 um, formulation. Um, so it's got top notes of apple, magnolia, mandarin, lily, osmanthus, ozone, tea, heart notes of amber, bamboo, earthy notes, jasmine, Oris, patchouli, and bottom notes of civet, musk, sandalwood, and vanilla. It is long-lasting and moderate. Now, I have personally not worn this one. The two that I've only really sampled and smelt are Panda and Macaque. They are just ones that I find um, lean more on the masculine side, and I think some people will love wearing that. It's, they're both definitely unisex, but I personally um, have not worn either one of uh, either one of these myself um this is also a great scent it's very interesting i love the bamboo and the ozone in it um with the tea and the apple uh once again i think these are all really easy to love um easy to wear and a perfect set to get introduced into the zoologist uh, brand. So I'm actually going to be um, at some point, not sure when, picking out some more zoologist ones. So let me know down below which ones are your favorite. Um, I'm really interested in knowing what the new squid smells like um, and the T-Rex because I've heard things about them. I haven't actually smelt them myself. Um, so I'm going to be interested in sampling those. And there's something about coming back to these and smelling them and again and in different weather and in different like seasons that there's something that because I had had little samples of uh, these in the past that I, I just it keeps me coming back to them and there is so much depth to these perfumes. They are so well done. I absolutely love it. Um, I love that they're a Canadian company. That's great. I love supporting that. Um, and so let me know down below which one's your favorite. And, and if you haven't tried any, which one you would uh, be interested in trying. So thank you so much for watching. Until next time.